Elias Feritas here at the EPT in Berlin. I'm sitting next to Sebastian Pani who survived day two. Uh, so, uh, how did your day go? It was quite boring, uh, to be honest. Um, I had a lot of setups, you know, like aces against queens and aces against eights uh, in smallish, medium pots. Um, I had a good start. Uh, I, I busted some small stacks. Uh, it went pretty smooth, actually. I didn't I don't know, I didn't really lose any pot, I think, I played. I mean, two or three small ones, but uh, no big one. And yeah, I just I just accumulated chips all the time. Uh, okay. What is your uh, general opinion of the venue here in uh, Berlin? Well, you know, it's, the problem is they had, en they had enough time to set this up. Uh, it's still pretty crowded. It's still quite badly organized. I don't know. I mean, the dealers uh, and the stuff is okay, uh, but the security guys um, are pretty rude, what I heard. Um, but yeah, the hotel is awesome, I think. Uh, it's one of the best I've been in. Um, but yeah, the organization is not that good, to be honest. Yeah, I agree with you. Some people uh, said that uh, on the photographs they expected you to look like a nerd. Explain. Well, uh, I think I am kind of a nerd, to be honest. Uh, that's just be because I don't wear my glasses today, you know, I have lenses. Um, if I wore my glasses, I think they would say to me that I am a nerd, yeah. Pretty sure. Okay, uh, what is your uh, plans for the future? Are you going to play uh, any more events? Well, first of all, uh, if I win Berlin, um, which I'm guessing I'm going to do, um, I can play in Monte Carlo because uh, all the EPT winners play there. Um, and yeah, let's see. Uh, I mean, I want to play uh, San Remo, um, which is got to be quite juicy. Um, but uh, I'm just going to play it if I set the light into it, you know. Um, and it I don't know, it depends um, how I finish here. Okay, thank you for the interview and good luck tomorrow. This was Elias Feritas with Sebastian Pani at Berlin.